Thank you for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading and it is the last reading, Twin Flame reading that I'm going to be doing for 2021 because it's New Year's Eve. So I hope you're having a lovely New Year's Eve um, and that you are staying focused and believing and trusting in what you already know. So I am very excited to do this reading to see what's going on with the Divine Masculines and to get some communication as well from the Divine Masculines and I'm going to be picking a card for you to help you to buy feminines as well, what you need to know on this New Year's Eve. So um, I'm going to start with the wisdom of the Oracle because we have received so much wisdom, so much love this year of 2021, so many blessings. So I've just been drawn to use this deck. So um, I'm going to see what's going on with the Divine Masculine's energies today, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing. And welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey, supporting me on my journey and supporting my channel. I'm so very, very grateful. And thank you to all of you for the beautiful comments, the emails, the Instagram messages, um, the support on TikTok and um, the donations. I'm so very grateful to each one of you. I love you all so very much. So let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculines during this during this new year. Sorry, during this New Year's Eve of 2021. And how they're going to be feeling. I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine because that's how I channel. Please don't be offended. Just put it into your situation, how it resonates with you. I do realise it's just energy. And my readings are timely, so it doesn't matter when you've clicked onto the reading. If you feel... Um, drawn to my channel you understand me and you feel connected to me and you want um and the message resonates it means it's for you so let's see what's going on with the divine masculines how are they feeling during this last day of 2021 nice clear message please A loyal heart. <laughs> Can you believe that, guys? Loyal heart. And we got come to the edge again. We've had this recently come to the edge. I think it was in last week's reading. But yeah, the Divine Muskins are being pushed to the edge. <laughs> They've really been pushed at the moment. And um, however it seems in 3D to you, they are really... They are So much is going on for the Divine Muskins. And so much change is happening within themselves and outside themselves they are making changes and they're receiving so many blessings and you know so much wisdom guidance to help them in this situation and let's see what was at the bottom yeah coming to the edge sorry i've got sidetracked guys so yeah they are being pushed to come forwards to jump off that cliff to go for this to set themselves free and however it seems in the 3D, like I always say to you guys, the Divine Masculine's heart is loyal. They they have this loyal heart. You are in their heart. They're feeling this loyalty. They're in this energy. On this last day of 2021, feeling this loyalty towards you. Their heart is loyal to you. Whatever's going on. And you know that within you. There's nobody else that can make your Divine Masculine feel the way you do. Nobody compares to you. Whatever's going on. And my channel is all about me focusing on this love. This unexplainable love. I don't focus on all of the other things that go on in this Twin Flame journey. Um, I use myself as an example sometimes, but I don't go into those negative, you know, places of talking about, you know, the situations that your divine masculine could be in. But there, it doesn't matter what's going on because this is about this love. This, your divine masculine's heart is loyal to you. So you could be experiencing quite a lot of, you know, seeing a lot of dogs around you when you're in nature or you could hear dogs barking. That's all, you know, represents loyalty and it's number 35 and three and five is eight which is infinity abundance 
they have so much abundance of love for you to share and give to you. And we have the king and the queen <laughs> with the love heart petals falling around, devoted to each other. So this is beautiful start for the Divine Masculines on this New Year's Eve, the last day of 2021. So they're loyal, they're, you know, they're in this energy of, you know, this loyalty. And I really do feel that somebody needed to hear that today because you could have been distracted of what's going on in the 3D, where you're just like, you know, you're just feeling that your Divine Masculine doesn't care. They do care. And their heart is always loyal to you. And they are devoted to you. And no one will ever compare to you, like I said. So next I'm going to be using the True Love Reading cards <laughs> to see what's going to come out. The Divine Masculine, what else is going to come out? What else do we need to know about the Divine Masculines? On this New Year's Eve, the last day of 2021. What else do we need to know? How are they feeling? What they're experiencing? We know that they're feeling this loyalty. Their heart is loyal to you. And this is all because they're being truthful and honest about this love now. And they're very aware and conscious of what's going on within them, outside of them. And they know that they've got to make change. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines today? on this last day of 2021. Inner peace, there you go. <laughs> Inner peace has come out of an, an, another reading that I've done this week as well. So, and connection, yeah. <laughs> They're feeling you so much. Or divine masculine, you're feeling each other. And they know that you. they have, you know, this very special spiritual connection with you. It doesn't matter what they do and how hard they've tried to um, not face their fears or to allow themselves to feel this love. It always comes back to you. Huh. Nobody can make them feel the way you do. So they're feeling this connection. They're feeling you. They can feel your energy. Because, and, and, you know, this is why loyal, loyal heart has come out. And... You know, they do know how to get them themselves into this space of inner peace. They know. And they're aware of so many things that they can do to help themselves now to experience this inner peace by going into nature to feel con this connection with themselves, with you, with higher power, with God, the universe. Whatever word you prefer to use or your divine masculine prefers to use, they know how to get to this space of inner peace. And as you know, when we experience inner peace, inner union, we create outer union. And because of this awareness, this consciousness, you know, they're aware that when their ego's kicking off, they're aware of these thoughts and they're watching their thoughts now. They're not believing everything, these thoughts, or the, you know, the programming, the conditioning, the limitations, all of those things, they're not believing all that anymore. They've got this balance with their higher self and their ego. And they know that when they experience fear, it's the ego feeding a load of nonsense. And when they think about you, and when they're seeing things through the eyes of love, you know, this relationship and how they want their life to be, it does make them feel this so peaceful. And this is why they're able to be loyal. <laughs> To be honest about this loyalty now, they've all their hearts always been loyal to you because no one can make them feel the way that you make them feel because you're one. But because of this honesty, they're open with this loyalty now. They they, they want to share this now. Because they're feeling so much more peaceful. They found, you know, this inner peace. And they're putting love in their life first. Instead of fear first in their life. They're not going to be held back by fear anymore. 
So I'm going to go to the Lover's Oracle next to see what else comes out. So this is beautiful, isn't it, guys? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so what else is it um, that we need to know today about the Divine Masculines? They're feeling this inner peace. They're feeling peaceful. Um, they're so aware, so conscious. They're experiencing this balance, you know, this loyalty. And they've been open with this now. What else is it we need to know today about the Divine Masculines? Nice clear message, please. How are they feeling? There you go. Very passionate. There you go. Passion. <laughs> They're feeling this passion. Oh, my goodness, guys. Too much, isn't it? And at the bottom of the deck is healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. Yeah. They want this situation sorted out between, you know, you and them. They want this to be healed. And in this time that you haven't been with your Divine Masculine in this preparation, you know, your Divine Masculine hasn't been with you physically, there has been so much healing going on. You know, facing your fears, releasing your fears, and learning about how important it is to be in the present moment and to realise to let go of things that have happened in the past. And about being in your truth. But this is about your divine, you know, because of what it says on the card, this healing at the bottom of the lover's oracle deck, is that they want this relationship, they want to come towards you and they want this resolved. And they're actually able to visualise this relationship being healed of how they want it to be with you. Because they are seeing through the eyes of love now and they're spending time, whatever that is, just put it into your situation, how you know, you know your divine masculine copes and, you know, if they go into nature or they like to meditate or they do a particular something that makes them feel peaceful where they are in the present moment. They could be being quite creative as well. In some way. So they're experiencing this passion a magnet and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. So they're feeling so much passion and desire. Because they're really, they're really living this now, guys. They're, they're feeling this love so deeply. And they are living their new life because of everything that they've learned. Because they know how to get to this inner peace. They can feel you and they're experiencing this sacred lovemaking energy. And it's so much more intense now because of this honesty being so truthful about this love. Admitting their heart is loyal to you. And they're really wanting you. They want to share this love with you and they want to be close with you. They want to make love to you. They want to do everything with you. So let's see what the Divine Muslims would like to communicate with you now. Um, I'm going to use George's deck to see what they would love to say to you. Divine Muslim message to the Divine Feminine from beautiful George from Blue Eyes Tarot. Let's see what the Divine Muslims would love to express and share with you on this last day. Of 2021. What is it the Divine Muskins want you to know? Let's move those down. Let's see. From their true self. When I run, I run for myself, not you. Wherever you are, I'm with you. I'm walking away from anything that no longer serves me, yes. They're walking away from nothing. So, sorry, they're walking away from every, anything that no longer serves them. And at the bottom of the deck is, can you forgive me? So, yeah, there's something that's playing on the Divine Masculine's minds at the moment about, you know, can you forgive them? Because it did come out in 
my reading this morning, the small reading about forgiveness as well. So if there is, you know, that you need to forgive your divine masculine, you know, that, you know, let go of what's happened in the past and be in the present moment and give yourself that gift of forgiveness because you're setting yourself free and you're creating so much peace for yourself. So forgive your divine masculine. Whatever's happened in the past, you know, you've learned from it, you've you've found so much strength from this experience and just always understand and look at the bigger picture. Find that love within you to understand why certain things happen and um, forgive your divine masculine and this doesn't mean to say that you put up with naughty behaviour and um, hurtful behaviour it means it's, it, this forgiveness is helping you and whatever you do for yourself you're doing for your divine masculine because you're one and your divine masculine needs to forgive themselves for something that's playing on their mind so and they want you to know that when they run they don't run from you they're running from themselves so it seems like they're running from you, but actually just running away because they don't want to face their fears. It's so overwhelming. And as you know, when the divine masculines are running, it's all because of what's going on within you anyway. It's you, it's what you're experiencing, what you're feeling within you because you're so fearful of losing your divine masculine. You feel like you're going crazy and you feel like you need to overgive. And you're not starting with yourself. You're not feeling your worth. You're not giving this love to yourself. And when you actually start giving this love to yourself, you then you, you're actually giving it to your divine masculine by doing it for yourself. Because your your divine masculine isn't separate from you. You're one soul. When we experience pain or upset, it's because we're viewing the physical person as separate from us. And they're not separate from us. You're one. This isn't a soulmate relationship. It isn't like any other relationship. This is a relationship with yourself. So they're not, so don't be offended or take it personally because they're not running from you. They're running from what, how they're feeling within inside there because they know that they've got to check, you know, they've, they've had to change so much. And this is what they've worked through. This is what they want you to know that they've worked through in this time of preparation or whatever it is, the challenge that you're having with your divine masculine. They're explaining why they run. And I always do it deeper than that. I'm going to explain to you why that they're running and it's because of what's going on within you what's going on within you and I know that's it does take a lot of strength to find that deeper understanding but it's the truth they can feel how you're feeling because you're one it's about your energy <laughs> so wherever wherever you are I'm with you so it doesn't matter where you are what you're doing, your divine masculine is with you because you're one. You're just not with a physical person. So allow yourself to feel your divine masculine. Allow yourself to feel close to your divine masculine. Open up to receive this. They are with you no matter what's going on. They're with you all the time because you're one. And they are moving away from things that no longer serve them. This is why they're feeling this loyalty they've been honest and they they're creating you know they know how to create in a piece of themselves and they've been open with this passion they're freeing themselves and that is moving away from things that no longer serve them they know that fear has what's kept them stuck and felt so uncomfortable in their life different situations and things that they've had to deal with they're moving away from that the toxicity the negativity relationships friendships programming conditioning limitations like i said so let's see what else the divine masculines want to communicate so now i'm going to be using the divine masculine 101s from beautiful liz harrison from guided by angels to see what else the divine masculines would love to communicate we know that they are explaining why they run and it's nothing to do with you it's what's going on within them and that's what they've been working through in this time of preparation and wherever you are they're with you and they're moving away from things that no longer serve them what else is it that divine muscles would love to share with you today from their true self A nice clear message please being with you is the best part of my day yeah <laughs> 
and I want to change so much for you. I want I want you to trust me again, yeah. And that's why they you know they want this forgiveness. And at the bottom of the deck is you are my world, yeah. You are their world. And the best part of their day <laughs> is being with you. So I know that some of you aren't with the physical person and you you know you're not physically with each other, but the best part of their day is when you know they can feel you and they're thinking about the times that you have been together you know if you have had that experience with your divine masculine that it was the best part of their day when they could spend some time with you when they can be close to you while not being with the physical person if that's your situation the best part of their day is when they can when they're allowing themselves to be in that place of being able to feel you, to open up, to receive your love, to just feel your energy, that you are with them. That's the best part of their day and they want to change so much for you. They want to change how they've approached you in the past. They want to change and come towards you with truth, to share their love with you, to show you their heart is loyal to you. And that they feel this passion. This is what they want to change. And that is a big change. Because they've kept this from you for such a long time. And they want to be able to do this for you. To be truthful. And they want you to trust them again. And I know that's really hard sometimes for the divine feminines to do because you could have experienced so many different things of, you know, where you, you, you find it really hard to trust your divine masculine because you are experiencing fear that it's going to happen again or, you know, you're just struggling to let go of what's happened before. But they really do want you to trust them again. And to be able to see them as your divine masculine, not as how they've behaved in the past. And as you know yourself, you've changed so much and you deal with things so differently now because of everything you've learned on this journey. And if you do find it hard to trust your divine masculine, all you have to do is trust yourself because you are your twin flame. You are one soul. So trust yourself, trust in God in the universe and you will be trusting your divine masculine and tr and completely come out of what happened in the past and, and view your divine masculine as your divine masculine in their truth. You've made so many changes within yourself and outside yourself so trust that your divine masculine is doing the same and you know this when you're in your truth you can feel this anyway. So now I'm going to get a card for you, Divine Feminines, to see what you need to know to help you stay focused, to believe and trust in what you already know. And I'm going to be using the um, Oracle of the Fairies to see you, what you need to know today, right now in this moment of this last reading of 2021 on this New Year's Eve. What is it the Divine Feminines need to know to give them the strength to see beyond... The illusions to see through the illusions what is it the divine feminines need to know to help them right now on this new year's eve this last day of 2021 nice clean rooms oops precious time yeah precious time I always say precious time don't I guys and at the bottom of the deck is moon energy. And we are heading for this new moon um, in Capricorn on the 2nd of January. So it's very close. So surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions, reassure assure you that peace of mind is possible. So, yeah. So during this new moon in Capricorn, release all of your fears and doubts and this confusion and allow God, the universe, the angels, the fairies to help you by letting go of control and allow this to unfold, allow the life to flow through you. 
feeling this protection and precious time. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. <laughs> so this is all about you just being in the present moment and not wasting your time worrying and listening to your ego, creating fear, creating these scenarios, these different stories up because you're not actually seeing any results yet. This is about you trusting what you already know, trusting the process and trusting in God's timing. And your time is precious, how you spend it. So don't waste it by worrying. Know whatever you're experiencing right now in this time is all for your highest good. And it's moving you towards your divine masculine. Everything has been worked out in this precious time of you not being with the physical person. Everything has been is is happening behind the scenes. It's all coming together, guys. It's just you can't see this yet. Seeing isn't believing. Believing is seeing. <laughs> you will see when you believe you will receive. You will see. But you have to believe to receive. Time is an illusion. And in this very moment where you are right now is perfect for you right now. And it's moving you closer, like I said, towards your divine muscle physically. They're with you all the time because you're one soul. But to be with a physical person. So let go of this control of timing because your time is precious and enjoy this precious time that you have in this preparation while you're not with the physical person. Because you are, you know, there's so many blessings, there's so much that you're receiving to get you where you want to be. It's all important, every part of this journey. Know and trust that you are going to be with your divine masculine you are going to experience heaven and earth and what you're experiencing now is to help you get to where you want to be like i said so your time is precious so don't waste it worrying so i hope you have an amazing last day of 2021 and thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you've given me in 2021 so much has happened for me in 2021 and I've been connected with so many beautiful souls and I'm so grateful to each one of you for being part of my journey and helping and supporting me giving me the strength to do my channel so I love you so much guys and I'm wishing you a very very happy blessed 2022 and I know so much is unfolding so much is happening in 2022 and I know that you can feel that as well so celebrate the last day of 2021 however you're celebrating it and smile with that knowing that you are going to be with your divine masculine because you are your divine masculine you're one soul you are your twin flame they're not separate from you and if any of you guys would like a clearer message for your beautiful unique twin flame journey and you'd like a private reading just email me and I can book you in. It's in the description box down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. And I'll be thinking of you. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength, my light. And I love you all so very much. See ya. Oh, but your soul